The new link signal primitive in Angular is a pretty handy new feature. In my previous tutorial, we looked at the basics. But in this tutorial, we'll take it a little further and look at a more advanced feature where we will compare the new and old values of the source signal to provide smart signal updates. Okay, let's get started. Here we have the same application that we used in our previous example, but now we've added a shipping type control. In this application, it's possible to have different shipping options for different images. So if we open the menu here, we can see that we have five different options. Then when we switch to the next image, now we only have three options. For this image, we can't use USPS or XPO. Now currently, the control state is not being tracked. What we're going to do in this example is create this state using a linked signal. First, let's understand what's going on. If we look at the purchase form component template, here we have a basic HTML select with options listed out from a shipping options signal. Let's look at the TypeScript to understand where the signal gets its options from. Okay, here it is. It comes from an input using the new signal input function. So the shipping options are expected to be provided as an input in the form of an array of strings. Okay, so that's what we're starting with. Now let's create a signal to track the state of this control. But before we do, it's important to note that we want to reset the selected shipping value when switching between images since we can't guarantee that the selected shipping option will be available for the new image that we're switching to. And this is why we want to use a linked signal. It will allow us to create a writable signal that can be updated when switching shipping options, but that can be reset when the shipping options input is updated. Let's start by adding a protected shipping option field. Then we'll use the linked signal function. Now, in my previous tutorial, I provided both the source signal and the computation function. But in this case, we can actually provide a simplified version. What we want to do here is set the value of this signal to the first shipping option in the list whenever the shipping options input changes. So we can just use that signal and grab the option with an index of zero. This will use the shipping option signal as its source and then compute its value from that same signal. Okay, that's what we need for our signal. Now we need to configure how we update this signal when the select value changes. Let's use the ng model directive to do this. Now to be sure that we understand what's going on here, let's use string interpolation to render the value of the shipping option signal. Okay, now let's save and see how it works. Okay, it starts off with UPS selected because that is the first value in the list for this particular image. Now let's switch this to FedEx. Okay, our signal value is now updated to FedEx. Now let's switch the image. Okay, now it has been reset to UPS since it's the first option in this new list. So that's pretty cool, right? But what's a bummer here is that in this case, FedEx is actually part of this new list of shipping options. So it would be cool if we could keep the selected value if it still exists in the new list of options. Well, we actually can do this with link signal. When using link signal, we can compare the new value of the source signal against the previous value. Let's switch to the more expanded concept. Our source signal will be the shipping options input. 
Then we will add the computation function. Within this function, we can access the current new value and the previous value. Then we can see if we can find an option with the previous value within the new list of options. If not, we'll set it to the first option from the input. So if the currently selected option is found, it will remain the selected value. If not, it will be set to the first option in the list. All right, let's save and see how this works now. Okay, UPS is selected initially again since it's the first in the list. Now let's switch to FedEx again. And let's switch the image. Okay, now we see that FedEx remains selected. Then if we switch to XPO and then switch images again, we can see that the value gets set to UPS because XPO doesn't exist in the new list of options. So now we have a way to compare current and previous values and update the signal only when needed. Okay, so that's a handy new feature available with the new link signal function. Hope that was helpful. Check out the channel for lots more Angular tips and tricks.